The government has a target to reduce carbon emissions by about 80% from 1990 levels. And when you look at all the different alternative ways we can do that, the most cost effective routes always seem to come out with decarbonising heat. So EDF Energy has been involved in smart system and heat from, from the very start. Residential heating is a huge contributor to our carbon emissions. So we are keen to know how can we help our customers and the UK as a whole transition away from fossil fuels and onto uh, renewable low carbon heating. We try to combine a, a kind of classic market research function and a digital design user experience. Our jewel in the crown, if you like, is the living lab. And that allows them to try things out in the real world so we upgraded 100 homes around the country and we designed a first-of-a-kind energy as a service, beginning with heat. The area of most interest to us has been the feedback from real consumers on the concept of heat or comfort as a service, um, but also around how they might consider a renewable low-carbon heat going forward. The feedback has been that they appreciate being able to control their homes, they understand their heating needs uh, more clearly, uh, and they also have a view on how they might and buy heat as a service in the future in terms of the types of contracts that they'll be interested in and what best meets their family's needs. We're really thrilled to be the first energy company to be trialling heat plans in the energy systems catapult living lab. Energy is really complicated and difficult for people and kilowatt hours don't really mean anything. What this trial is in fact doing is, is changing commercial models and so offering um, warm hours as opposed to kilowatt hours all in the aims to hopefully make that easier for customers but also move to a world where we can decarbonise heat. So it allows the energy sector to apply the techniques that supermarkets have been using with loyalty cards, mobile telecoms operators have been using with bundles of text minutes and data for decades. The real value for us is around customer insights and real customer data and, and a real living lab. We're not just talking about doing things in isolation, we're, we're actually doing them, we're actually learning about them. What Smart Systems and Heat has shown to us is that not only do we need to think about the new business models and customer propositions and how we can offer new services to consumers, but also what policies and regulations need to then accompany those to then deliver the 28 million home transition that we need to by 2050.